Right, this is quite a big diversion I've done. So much longer than if I'd gone straight up the road, by the way. Much longer. Um, I'm just trying to think, um, it's a lovely view over there, look, look at that, and those beautiful clouds. There's Roebarrow. I'm coming up to a junction in a minute, where I was the other day, not yesterday, the day before, and I was looking up a track going up onto the Mendips. Um, so I'm just doing a little video, there's some beautiful views. I should have had the video on a minute ago, overlooking Glastonbury Tor. I'd taken pictures, but you can't see it now. But back there, there was a, a huge view. Right over there. Um, right over Somerset, over that side. Yeah, I've got a feeling this is the road now. Yeah, I would have come out this farm here. We're up there in a minute, aren't it? Not this, not here. But further up. That's the bungalow. I met the woman last time I was here. This is the road I was walking along. And um, it was on Bastille Day, 14th of July. And as I was talking the other day, walking along here, the people were alive, enjoying their summer break in France. As I was walking along here, talking about the beautiful weather and everything, I came out of there. And I was walking up this road, like I am now, admiring the beauty all around me. And that day, that evening, 84 people were killed. There are still 50 on the verge of living or dying and a hundred at least more very injured. Um, children were among the victims, teenagers, families. In one case I think four members of the same family were killed. The driver just drove straight into them. No mercy, just pure hatred. Killed them, mowed them down, trapped them under his wheels. <sighs> Lunacy, evilness. <sighs> but once again, I'm out. <sighs> I've walked a big loop. I forgot how, I'm, all, I'm good at doing loops, right? I actually forgot how big that loop was. For some reason I thought I would have been way through the wood now if I'd kept to my original plan. But if I hadn't diverted, I wouldn't have met the archeologists. And it is good to backtrack. You know, I wanted to do this bit again, so I've done it now. It won't have to be done for another year. Now I've got to decide what I want to do when I get to a junction up here. Do I want to go through the farm and straight down to the streams? Or do I want to climb up that hill again, walk right down the other side of the Mendips and then walk up the hill fort. 
That's the, 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 the decision I have to make very soon. The thing is, by going right up on the Mendeps, I am going to be very exposed. Whereas if I go in the wood, I'll be cooler. I'm just going to stand in the shade now, actually. For a minute. It's, uh, they reckon it'll be 93 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to stand here in the shade for a minute. Yeah, I went... Piney Slights. Um, Drake got Slights right over there. Yeah, I went through all along over there the other day. All over there. Cheddar Gorge over that way. With a naked eye, I can just see Glastonbury Tour from here. It's the other side of that tree. Right, over and out.